begin talking about Cell Shock, we will talk about Bash. What exactly is Bash? Bash is a Unix shell that allows users to run commands on a Unix and Linux system. This also applies to Mac because the Mac OS X or the Mac OS X is a BSD Unix flavor. The commands are usually done over SSH or Telnet as a CGI script parser that runs on an Apache server. If you did not know, 51% of the market share runs in an Apache server. On to the Bash history. Bash was written by Brian Fox for the GNU projects as a free software replacement for the Brunt shell which was released in 1989. This brings us to Cell Shock vulnerability and how it relates to Bash. Cell Shock is a form of Bash bug. It is a recent discovered security flaw and it allows hackers to remotely execute commands without any authorization. This allows hackers to take complete control over the operating system. <laughs> The shell shock vulnerability works by allowing users to inject bash shell commands into what should be a string. For example, the string usually set an environmental variable. Usually everything within the quotes of a string declaration is treated as a string. However, if you have open bracket, close bracket, open curly brace, colon, semicolon, close curly brace, semicolon, followed by any bash command, the command will be executed instead of being treated as a string. The systems at risk are all those ones running bash versions 1.14 to 4.3, 4.3 being the most current version of bash available. It is wor also worth noting that this vulnerability has gone undetected for about 25 years. So here's an example of a shell shock attack targeted at SFTP servers. The attacker will create a custom email with shell shock malicious code inserted into the subject from to and cc fields. Then the email will be sent to any SMTP server. When a vulnerable SMTP server receives this malicious email, the inserted shell shock payload will be executed and an IRC bot will be downloaded and executed. At the same time, a connection with the IRC server will also be established. Voila! The attack attacker then easily can perform spam run, DDoS attack, send mail, scan ports, download files from URLs, or run Unix commands. So who is affected? Shellshock exploit any systems that are running services or applications that allow unauthorized users to assign bash environment variables such as Apache HTTP servers that use CGI scripts, certain DHCP clients, open SSH servers that use a force command capability, various network exposed services that use bash, the weakness of Bash is that it is backward compatible. This allows inheritance of previous flaws in Bash auto parsing variable da data, which causes it to execute the codes that the attacker has provided in the shell shot. Hey guys, my name is Mohammed, and I'm going to be showing you guys how we can use the shell shock exploit to execute arbitrary code on a remote server. It's not remote in this case, but nonetheless it will work the same way. So we have Apache set up here, and along with Apache we set up CGI. So CGI. So we have a CGI script that just prints out hello world. We have another one. That was a Python script. This one is a bash script. It does the same thing, it prints out HTML content. In this case, it's just printing out the um, environment variables for our server. So, that being said, so how we do this is using the curl command. So just curl and then that same URL. It prints out the HTML version of the web page. So you have HTML body, the same environment variables, and then the beginning tags. So what we do is using the curl command, 
we pass an agent string like this however because it's a function the shellshock vulnerability will actually run the commands following the function so instead of treating it as a string it's going to run it as a bash command which is the vulnerability itself so over here we're just going to print out the password file so if we run this there we go we just printed out the password file now if this was an actual remote server we could through this process get the password for root log in remotely and do whatever we wanted and in addition to this you can also run other commands right here so forget logging in remotely you can just run it right here you can just delete everything on the system through here and that's basically how the shell shock exploit works thank you for watching <laughs>